Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing great. Today I have very important things that you must do when your case becomes current and after you've gotten your second notification letter. So stick around and watch this video to the end and get these important things. Let's begin with when your case has become current. After a case has become current, do you remember that email that you put on your DS-260 form? That email is so important. You should keep on checking on that email because it is through this email that you will get the notification notifying you of a pending update on the entrant status check for you to check for your second notification letter. So you need to always check your email. And mind you, check the spam, the spam folder of your email. Go to the spam folder and check. Some of the winners have gotten their notification sent to the spam because of the settings. So check the email together with the spam folder if you have any communication from KCC. Also remember, KCC will use the same email for any form of communication to you. So don't forget that email. That is what basically you're supposed to do when your case becomes current. Now let's come to the time you receive your second notification letter. After you have received that email notification, telling you that you have a pending status, you should immediately visit that link in that email and it will take you to the entrance status check. That is where you will put your details and then there will be your second notification letter. Now, this second notification letter should be read thoroughly through. Go through the second notification letter and read through, get everything it says, what it has. It gives you the details about your interview, the venue of your interview, and so on. So go through the 2 and L carefully. Again, on the 2 and L, there is a link in the body of the 2NL. That link is so important. The second thing that you're supposed to do is to click on that link. And once you click on that link, it will take you to the list of consulates and embassies. And on that list, you are supposed to click on your embassy. Select the embassy in which you'll take your interview from. And once you select it, the web page for that embassy will come. And then you'll see a lot of instructions there. So you are supposed to read through the embassy instructions. And I repeat because I had said in another video, that it is very important that you go through the instructions of your embassy because the instructions, they differ from one embassy to the other. Some things on one embassy might not be the same things on your embassy. So read the instructions of your embassy. And then after you have read through the instructions, then this is what you're supposed to do. First, register for your interview online. And I have a video detailing on that. You can search through my YouTube and you'll get how to register your interview online. So that is the very, very first thing that you do after you've gone through the instructions. Register your interview appointment online. After that, register 
for the courier service to deliver your passports. For some embassy, you will be required to register for a courier service for them to deliver your passport once visas are stamped on the passport. So the point is, if your embassy requires you to register for courier services, go ahead and do that. After you've done that, you need to apply for the notarization of your high school document. And this is for some countries, at least. Some countries will require you to notarize the high school diploma after you've gotten your second notification letter. A good example is Kenya. So if your country requires you to notarize your document, your high school certificate or diploma after the 2NL, then go ahead and do that. If your country is of that type, then you cannot notarize your high school diploma before you receive the second notification letter, at least for the purpose of the DV interview. After you've done that, one of the major things is to book for your medical examination appointment. You go ahead and book for your medical examination. And just as the courier services, I have a video going through the process of booking your medical examination. You go and search through my channel and you'll get that video. But remember to book your medical examination. Immediately you get the second notification letter. The other thing that you should do is go through the interview checklist. The interview checklist contains the list of documents that you need to prepare up front for the interview. And after you've gone through the interview checklist, then obtain all the documents. Go through the documents. Ensure that you have all the documents with you. And on top of these documents listed in the interview checklist, there are some additional documents that you must come with, at least for majority of the embassies. And these additional documents, I've sung about them in many videos. They include the affidavit of support for showing that you cannot become a public charge after you've landed in the United States. So you need an affidavit of support. That is either a form I-134 or a bank statement showing your savings that can take you through as you take on life in the United States. Another document, additional one, that you need to have is if you got married after you've been selected or after you have applied for the DV lottery, that means you applied as single and now you are married, you need to come with whatever document that you can come across to solidify or prove that your marriage is legal. You did not marry to give an opportunity to your spouse to be in the United States. So you need to have documents to prove that you had an existing relationship even before you applied for the DV lottery. And those are just some of the few documents that you need in addition to the checklist documents. In some embassies, you'll be required to also add the DS-5535. You prepare that in advance. So there are documents that are not mentioned, but you might need them. I also have that video in the channel. Go and look for those additional documents that you might need as you prepare for the interview. Let's leave at that. And now we go to the last thing that I want to discuss in this video is about preparing yourself thoroughly. 
go through some interview experiences by people from the same embassy or from other embassies. Go through what they were asked. How was the interview? What was the experience? And I have several interview experiences throughout this channel. You can search through the videos and you'll get them. So expose yourself to the experience before you attend the interview. So do a mock interview exam and be ready. Remember, the slogan is, you should be over prepared than being less prepared and you lose your visa approval. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this helps you so much. Please don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Also, don't forget to support the channel. And let's meet in the next video.